Mike, for the third straight week, the Jets leave a game that they should have won. They are now 1-3, going into one of the hardest parts of their schedule. The thing that really stood out to me was the offense. That first drive, they go 71 yards, they mix it up, Chris Ivory runs 51 yards in that play, and then five straight series, they go three and out. I don't get it. Frustrating. It's really frustrating. Uh, in my Before the game, I talked about coming out and throwing on first down. They did it. I was ecstatic. They opened them up. They spread the defense out. They mixed it up, went right down the field again where they ran into trouble because the Jets came into this game the last team in the NFL in the red zone. Now they have a, they drive right down. The first play, the first down run only gains a yard. I'm thinking to myself, they're going to throw this one. They ran again. So now we're third and nine. They settle for the field goal. This has been a problem. This is what they have to solve. And then I agree with you. They came out three and out, three and out, three and out, and it was like, it was like someone else was calling the plays. I lost that. I lost a lot of faith in that. What I did like was when the second half, when they opened it up a little bit. I loved throwing to Decker when he, when he was hot. He just throw it to him. You know, I remember when I used to be with Marino. Used to be, you know, he'd come off the field and say to say to Coach Shula, he can't cover Duker. Throw him the football. I like this kind of stuff. I thought that was great. They got Amaro involved back in the offense. They got Amaro involved. And, and he ran with the ball better than I've seen him. And they got Chris Johnson back. I thought at the end, at the end, their last possession, mm -hmm. the last possession, their first play, they hit Amaro and he picked up eight. Then they ran it and didn't get the first down. And then they threw to Ivory in the flat. He had just missed one before. That's your, your, you know, sometimes it's the, it's not the X and O's. It's you know the old, you know Jimmy and Joe's type thing that people used to say. You know, pick the guys that are hot. I was hoping to see Johnson in there at that time. So I agree, it was very frustrating. You saw some good things, but yet still some of the same shortcomings. What about all the penalties, the procedure penalties with your offensive line, false start type penalties at home? We're not playing in Seattle. You can't have these things happen at home. These types of wounds get you beat. And what about Gino? Because you could see he was clearly frustrated. Coming off the field, he was just angry. He was upset. Fans started calling for Vic. Fourth quarter, he had two two turnovers. It can't yeah. happen. No, you know, the, the two that he did throw, he, he did get blasted. I mean, he got blasted. And so, you know, it, it, he's going to get the blame. But I felt for him a little bit. I saw some positive things again. It, it, it frustrates you because you see so many good things and then you see the really bad play. I, I, don't I feel like it's a broken record, though. I feel like we're always talking about well, it's this. We, it's because we have been always talking about it. That's exactly why. But if you look at it, to me, I felt that the turning point of the football game was when the, the Jets came back and they, 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 t they got behind, they scored a touchdown. Now it's 17-10. to 10. Third quarter. Third quarter. Yeah, they Gino kick finds off. Eric they Decker. do a nice kickoff. They got him at the nine-yard line. Nine yard line. They drive, they, they go a 14 play drive, take up seven and a half minutes, convert three really big third downs, two of them over third and 10. They completed those and drive all the way down the field to score the touchdown. Now, to me, that took all the air out of the sails. Because this is a defense, you know, the, the just defense comes in there ranked very highly. But these long, tight plays, have been a real Achilles heel, in my opinion, that they haven't stepped up. Nobody got to the quarterback, and, and Detroit made those plays. I felt that that was the momentum had swung to the Jets. A great touchdown, great kickoff in a coverage, and then all of a sudden, you know, the vaunted defense doesn't hold up. All right, as always, Mike, I appreciate you. All right, thank you.